Good morning. Hey, how's it going? Very well. Good. I'm just posting in Discord to see if anyone else wants to join us. I probably, I don't think they will, but you know, you never know. I'll put the same thing in the, um, in the BC groups as well, one sec. Okay. Yeah, I just shared the, um, the wiki because it has the right Zoom link on it. Um, Oh, here, I put in the chat. Uh, quick thing if you want to grab it. There we go. Oh, and Tim is from our team. Hi, Tim. Morning. Mm -hmm. So far, looking pretty similar to our Didcom call. Hey, Alex, <laughs> see you again. Hello. Yeah, very well. Thank you. Good morning. So, yeah, I know Sam is out of the office for the rest of the week. Um, I don't think he'll be joining. So maybe just we do it. Evaluation of kind of what's out there now. Um, and then we can move forward. Oops. Well, kind of, fewer, fewer attendees, more chance just to, to get things done. Yes, absolutely. I'll take it. <laughs> um, so here is the link to the meeting. Uh, to the actual meeting uh, notes. <clears throat> Feel free to update as you need. I'll go ahead and share my screen. Um, and as this is a uh, Linux Foundation Hyperledger meeting, we are under the auspices of uh, Hyperledger. And here's the antitrust policy notice, uh, meaning that this is a public event. So nobody talked about anything that's supposed to be private. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, welcome. So what I did is I went ahead and popped in discovery questions from kind of previous conversation. Um, and then I was hoping we could, you know, work towards answering them. Um, but what might also be helpful is if we just look at what is uh, where we're starting from. So if we go to the Hyperledger website, um, and we go to, I think, use libraries, tools. I don't, I can never remember where they keep, where to find it. Um, but here's, here's Hyperledger in the graduated project. And the description, so this is like the official, you know, description. Hyperledger Aries provides a shared, reusable, interoperable toolkit designed for initiatives and solutions focused on creating, transmitting, and storing verifiable digital, digital credentials. It is infrastructure for blockchain-rooted peer-to-peer interactions. So this project consumes the cryptographic support provided by Hyperledger Ursa to provide secure secret management and decentralized key management functionality. Um, and then here are all the, I guess, repos for all the different things that people can start with. Uh, here's Crunchbase. There, oh, there's a LinkedIn. Interesting. Oh, it just goes to the Hyperledger. Okay. Um, or actually, views member. Yeah. Uh, there's a chat channel. There's Oh, there's an introduction course. Oh, right, the edX um, from the Linux Foundation. What else is here? Develop developer course, becoming a Hyperledger Aries developer. Um, and then just more things focused on Hyperledger itself. So looking at this, I can absolutely see that there's room for improvement. Um, and so there's the room... page itself. Sorry, Helen. If you go to that website link, the first link there, oh, okay. could, what you get to if you do a search, and it's, it's a bit more sparse than what you got there. 
Okay. So yeah. So okay. So here's the here's the description. Here's the announcement from 2019, probably. <clears throat> yep. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> and then here's download the code, join the mailing list. Yeah. Um, Discord contribute. Where does contribute get you? Oh, just the wiki. <laughs> okay. Participate in the working the the working group. That's probably the same link, I imagine. Yep. Okay. Visit the wiki. Probably is it the same? <laughs> yep. Same. Third time to charm, and then deploying deploy Aries. What does that get you? Oh, the vendor directory. So the vendor directory is, is yeah, exactly what it sounds like. Um, a list of organizations that have uh, product and market um, around different projects. So you can go to Aries and see that in DCO and DSR. I don't think I'm familiar with DSR. I have deployed uh, Aries. Yeah, I think the key touch points are the, the website, the wiki, probably the github landing page for aries as well yeah for sure main readme yeah so here's the github here's the readme right allows trusted online peer-to-peer -peer interactions based on decentralized identity but yeah so this oh and then it adds in aries Includes a protocol def uh, definition tools and reference implementations. Protocol supports identity rooted in distributed ledgers and blockchains. It should approach this approach to identity is often called self sovereign identity. The key components. So, back when starting at the announcement, wherever that went, um, there was a lot of talk about the use of the word wallet and how it's going to be the project will be described and the only use of wallet is right here <laughs> it's called wallety things a very official term <laughs> um, and that was something that was very intentional because it wasn't just a wallet that's what they kept that's I remember that they kept saying now in recent weeks when they're talking about um, you know updating the the branding and description of the project there's more talk about wallet being really helpful for people for organizations who are trying to explain what the agent is and what their agent does especially like now that there's like cloud agents and you know different things so what's what's your take on the use and description and incorporation of wallet into the project alex um <clears throat> i hadn't got down to that level yet i've yeah. been tackling it if I can just steer what's coming to my mind to start things off and then take it as you wish. I think that Aries has evolved really quickly um, and very technically competently mm -hmm. and does many things in many different ways. But as you can just see from what you just recap beautifully there, is that the descriptions of what Aries has got left behind. Mm -hmm. I think with a more technical focus of where Aries was, there hasn't been an update to say, how can you apply it? Where is it applying in terms of current things that people are facing? The mm -hmm. decision to make. So one facet of this is whether it's wallet or agent, I would probably lean towards agent, we can get into this, or whether I think there's an updating of what it actually is and does at every practical level to reflect where it's up to. It doesn't require um, a blockchain. Doesn't, it's not tied to in there. You don't have to use non-creds. There are some basic things that could be clarified and, and misconceptions addressed in saying what it is and how it can be used. So it's almost like new material. The updating what it is, is, is existing material updated, and then how it can be used is new material. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's like one facet of this. And then the other facet is there's like a lens of this, which is on strategy of how we can best communicate Aries to the world because it feels like there's a few ways to go about it as to what people are needing right now. And one way that we've discussed is, is promoting its flexibility. You can do it for this and you can do that and it's future-proof and it can be flexible in the future for this. You can swap this out and you can choose this. 
equally, I think some parts of what makes Aries valuable and special might not want, why you could swap those out, you probably wouldn't want to. And so from a marketing perspective, I'm really curious as to which bits do we promote the flexibility on and which bits do we say, no, no, these are like some things, some really valuable things we're gonna hang our hat on, which mm -hmm. are relevant to a lot of discussions happening today. And we need to shout about these selection of really great things from the rooftops and make it super clear to people, whether that's breaking down barriers and misconceptions or actually advocating a difference it does compared to other offerings, such as, I know all the privacy preservation options you can do with the stack. Mm -hmm. that's, that's like a broad where I'm thinking about it. And I've got some materials written up, some draft materials, which have been through a couple of working group meetings. And I got some feedback um, and I, you know, start a high level description. But even those feel that they are, yeah, here we go. Mm -hmm. They feel like these questions, well, these, this thing I've written, I started, is kind of, it depends on what, what is the accurate description? Because in the working group meeting three weeks ago, nobody had the same description twice what Aries is. Mm -hmm. And then after that, whilst it can do all these things, and we could talk about all these things, which are the most important that, that elevate up to a summary statement that goes on the landing page of Hyperledger, that goes on the landing page mm -hmm. of the wiki. So that's what's fully in my mind is the same activity how that you led Bitcoin wise do we have to do something similar to get to the Aries one? Or is it just the strategy of like, how do we, where's this going and how do we position Aries in the current market and the current climate? That's mm -hmm. what I'm particularly fascinated by because it needs to be relevant at the table of discussion right now and all these discussions are happening about exactly what Aries could be suited for if they knew about it, if they knew about it correctly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I totally agree. I think that's a great kind of level to start from is what, what are we, what is the goal and what is, what are we trying to explain and what are we trying to, to tell people about Aries? Um, a couple of things come to mind. One is I'm immediately thinking of doing like a questionnaire. I think that would be a great way for, for developer types, <laughs> no offense to developer types, but to get their feedback, like, how, like rank these qualities that we should be talking, you know, that you would want yeah. to share with the community from one to 10, you know, put them on a slider or something like privacy preserving versus whatever, like, or something, yeah. you're just like a bunch of descriptions, like, you know, a non-credit privacy, whatever, like put, put a list together and have them like order them of like, this is the most important thing. This is the least important thing, that kind of thing. So I'm immediately thinking of like, how do we get feedback from the community? Cause um, that's really important. The second thing I'm thinking okay. about is the the Hyperledger Technical Tech Advisory Council. Um, they they give projects, they kind of put projects in different categories, graduated, incubating, and life cycle. And they have qualifications that that move projects from one one stage to another. Aries is graduated because one of the things that makes it so strong is it, 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 it's diversity of contributors. So it has a lot of different organizations that give a lot of different code that have, like, it's not just one, one organization. And if they leave, then the whole thing falls apart. So I know that like contributions and active, con, you know, contributors to maintainers is a big part of what's in, important to the Aries community. But there's also that, that, you know, in production importance, like we want to, we want to have more organizations. So I guess I'm thinking about the goal of what this, what we're trying to do once we position Aries in the market, we want to get people contributing and really active in the community and helping it grow and do cool stuff and, you know, continue on and flourish. Right. But at the same time, we also want business decision leaders to show up, see the value in this project and, want to go, you know, spend their resources and time and energy taking the project and, and developing it and implementing it and, and going to production. So those are two goals, but I'm sure there's more. There's, we want people to know the power of it. So when people are in production, they can go out to their customers and, and you know, and, and, and share the good word about, you know, Aries to the, the broader world so they can be seen as the, so we can help them, you know, 
sell and, and, and show that the benefits there. So I think looking at the goals of like what we want, where we see Aries is now doing really well, like some of the discovery questions, honestly, like where, what are the friction points we're seeing today? Come on, go away. Um, like what are, what are the friction? Like, why are we having this conversation? Like, what is the problem right now? And then where, where are we trying to go? Like, what is the goal of, of what is the communicate? Who, who are we targeting and what do we want them to do? That's super interesting. I'd assumed that I hadn't thought about the contributor part. I know there's a massive community contributing and I'd assumed maybe wrongly that as people get on board with what it is and see its value for them, they end up naturally contributing back as it gets in front of people with, you know, with deep pockets and time to commit to these projects because they're using them for their own value. The the the, the informally the the things I'm seeing as to the as to the reasons why is I think a misconception or misconceptions about Aries that's ruling it out of discussions mm -hmm. that it's too complicated, which may be valid I don't know um, that it requires you to use these other technologies as well, which I know those parts aren't true. So mm -hmm. misconception about what you have to use to do it, to, to work with it. So that's one part is this being ruled out because of misconception. Another part is people arrive and where is that hand holding in? Mm -hmm. How do they get a seat at the table if people are, if anyone from a developer up to an exec lands on these resources, I think, you know, every, every word is more than three syllables. It's a wall of text and it doesn't give you a way into solutions, applications, key differentiators. It's not approachable for anyone at any level of hierarchy or technical knowledge, for my mind, mm -hmm. to see, okay, like where, are the, where are the examples of use? Mm -hmm. Where are the, where's the gravitas behind it? Where's the sense of contributions? How do you know how big this is? How do mm -hmm. you know it's viable for something, for a huge project? I mean, all those parts. I think it's, a, it's not just not misconception and ruling it out. It's it's about arriving fresh and like how do you get the summary and the calls notes and how do you get into this thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I yeah, I I completely agree. I see those as yeah, all definitely like uh, definite friction points. Because I mean, I still like if if someone were to ask me the definition of a non creds and we talk about it all day long, Tim and I. Tim writes blogs about it all the time, and I'm still just like, I don't actually understand it on creds. <laughs> I'm not sure I do either. So it's, you know. <laughs> and it's the same with Aries. There's, I mean, we go back, I think it's the 24th of 24th of May, I want to say, the working group um, meeting notes. Mm -hmm. There are three or four descriptions from smart people who know Aries very well, um, asking what they, where Aries is, and there are four different answers. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's worth bringing up actually, which is a reference. Yeah, yeah. What 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 day did you say? Uh, I want to say the twenty fourth of May, up five from where you are. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I think it's that one. Keep going there. I'll tell you when. Further, further, further. There, Aries scope. What is it? Right in the middle of the page. There. Is that a one framework. Person, yeah. Framework. So the person, it's SSI. One person says it's a protocol. Another person says it's a foundation of Indian on Crescent Dicom. One person says it's wallet, you know. So there's even there. Mm -hmm. And that's all fine. It can be all those things. But at a starting point for any level of seniority and tech knowledge, what is it? Mm -hmm. And then we can create flavors of that from these. Mm -hmm. But it needs to have a it, that it needs to have some kind of like anchor of so how to make it approachable, probably using simple words, probably using short sentences. Just mm -hmm. like we talked about on Monday, Helen. Mm -hmm. And then, case. yep, yep. Um, well, it's almost like uh, not even just use cases, but like components, for lack of a better word. Um, like that page, where did it go? Oh, yeah, like this one. So here's all the different repositories. So there's uh, pod agent Python, that's Akapi, right? And then the RFC. Yeah, some of these are frameworks mm -hmm. that implement the various RFCs in different languages. Mm -hmm. And other ones are like projects that, ex that you know, extend it. So you've got Bifold there, Aries Mobile Agent React Native, mm -hmm. taking 
areas and expanding out to, you know, into wildland. I don't know many of these. There's the media service. That's the companion thing, obviously, for receiving um, and, um, messages so you can actually have a mobile experience to mm -hmm. keep up. I, I just know of some of these parts. But yeah, how does this fit together? And thinking about those landing pages based on those roles, what's mm -hmm. the way forward? So if you're coming in and let's say you're a team lead and you think areas is there, where are your talking points you 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 copy and paste out for your presentation? Mm -hmm. Or if you're a developer looking to apply using it, where do you start? There's right. a example, but where's the ABC? Like first watch this, then do this. Then here's an example. Then you can build it this way. You know, where's the one, two, three, four? There are some of those on the wiki, but they're mm -hmm. missing. The one glimmer here, I know that Hyperledge is looking at a site refresh. I think as part of that refresh, they're looking at highlighting resources based on audience type mm -hmm. on the landing page of the project, which I think is great. Mm -hmm. But that's a small piece of this puzzle, mm -hmm. which is what is this behemoth of amazing tech and how can it be relevant to current conversations, especially? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, even, you know, the mission goal in Aries, I think that's, yeah, that is that like very much like high level goal. But then when we, you know, to number two, how do we define and measure success? Um, you know, like we were talking about, like making it more approachable, seeing more implementation, seeing more people getting involved, seeing more people onboarded, seeing more, you know, contributions and implementation, seeing more, you know, press talking about it and uh, companies putting money and funds and resources to developing with it. So I think that, yeah. you know, there's a lot, there could be success, target audience, you know, we sort of talked about that. I think but, on that second one, I, I, I know how, how true this is, but I would imagine as the implementations come, if big players start using Aries, they're going to contribute back to it because there's something to be gained all around. It's going to make sense. Mm -hmm. to improve it for the community's vetting and everything else. So I I was focused on the, and I haven't, I haven't you know, talked to anybody about this, but I was assuming this uh, this marketing opportunity is around um, people implementing it and using it, first mm -hmm. and foremost, and that the contribution would come as a part of a community, reinforcing the community aspects of what this is. They'd want to contribute back. Because mm -hmm. there's actually a really, it's got, some stat I, I use for them but there's a lot of people contributing there's lots of energy around it right now especially from our side obviously yeah so i'll kind of put deployments and contributions in the same line because with kind of with one stems the other um and then you know, more community involvement, like more people on the calls, more people like, you know, bringing ideas forward, more people, I don't know, like more voices, and then just more visibility in, in the media and, you know, people covering the, what's going on in the community, all that good stuff. Um, oh, let's see here. As far as, okay, so preferred life cycle. What do we want them to do? In what order? Awareness, you know, education, convincing, whatever. So this is where I think, you know, coming to the hype, I think if you just search hyperledger, whoops, hyperledger Aries, the first thing that comes up is their the page. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So they have, I mean, they have top placement. They do a pretty good job um, with, in terms of, you know, SEO and ad buys and all that good stuff. Cause then you can see, here's the announcement right there. Um, and then you have the GitHub. So if we kind of look at those two places is where people will probably land on first. Um, I just, I've, I'd assume that, so just on this question, I'd assumed that there are mentions of this. People are hearing about Aries, maybe anecdotally, maybe at a conference, maybe it's, I th my sense is that that's there. Mm -hmm. And then just you're doing now, that first landing experience after search to find out more about it is where we're falling down quite mm -hmm. dramatically. So yeah. I'm fully with you that these three on the screen right now, the site, the wiki, the GitHub, readme, mm -hmm. are key, key points, places that we could focus on. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I don't think we're in this, I don't think we're in like a, 
a campaign territory to raise awareness. I don't think there's like a problem with people hearing about it necessarily because mm -hmm. we're in a fairly confined space, even within the options of what it is, it's still got a narrow focus. I think people that need to know would eventually hear about it rooting around, but we're falling down when they actually reach out to find out more about it specifically. Yeah, for sure. Um, so even if we focus on those two items and then see, you know, if they, if they find us and then maybe again, there's some education, including use cases, demo videos, start here videos, like helpful things to get them going, right? Like they're not just all of a good, all of a sudden going to come to the website and like hit deploy and, and they're off to the races because like no, you're no, so it's so hard. So, you know, after there's I think, there's I, think awareness. I think that the wiki could be a third item in number four. Yeah. But I think depending on the search engine, I've seen wiki come up higher. Uh -huh. I think developers might be inclined to go there as well. So you could almost have um, the wiki being a, a third option. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, on the point of the explainer videos, there's actually quite a bed of interesting um, videos and blog posts out there. There are starting points like introductions using areas for X, Y, and Z on YouTube and so forth. Mm -hmm. They're out there and they're relatively recent. And I'm also starting to uncover some interesting blog posts as well that mm -hmm. explain some things. We don't have to think we have to be the centralized be all and end all this. There could be many, it could just be a gathering of great resources out there mm -hmm. and making them clearer, maybe in order for people coming in to get started. Because I went, because like on the page, wherever it went, here we go. Like I almost see like you have like a description of what the project is and you have some helpful like kind of get started links, but then right away you start like, you know, education or blog, you know, it has like blog video demos or something like that. And just like clicky, click, clickable things like right away, right at the top, basically to, to get people, yeah, just, just engaged with it and educating themselves and looking at what other people are doing in the community. Um, yeah. and then even have like an opportunity to have like a button that says like, did, do you have a blog that you want to, that you think would, you know, be relevant here? Like I would love yeah. for other people to say, I, I wrote a blog or I wrote a paper. Or I did a presentation at this group or whatever, and here's the link to it and they can put it in and then we can add it or whatever, and it can keep going. Um, it should be a community, like, you know, maintained yes. and generated content. Love the idea. Let's see here. So I think more than just the ranking of what Aries is, I think some of these questions come conscious of time here. Some of these questions could form the basis of that. Oh, we've got the hours perfect. Some of these questions could form the basis of, of that question that goes out to developers. Like, what are your favorite resources that you point people to? Um, that's, oh, that's Tim had head off. Okay, it's me and you, Helen. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what are the um, <clears throat> what are their favorite starting points? When people say, hey, what's Aries? Oh, go and check out this video. I'm sure many of the top people, top people in the community have that kind of like list of things they use. Mm -hmm. So there's probably a few questions we could ask without making the question that's going to be approachable that developers don't just pass it by and go, ah, I haven't got time. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I think this is, I'm putting it, it as an action item because I think this is something that we could <clears throat> um, add to that questionnaire. Like if we had, I don't, like, I hate questionnaires that are in surveys that are too long, <laughs> yeah, but it was too. like three questions. The first question was like, rank these descriptions or, you know, kind of descriptors of Aries in like in importance order, privacy yeah. preserving wallet, blah, 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 whatever it is. And then like the second one is like list your three favorite links that like you send to people when they want to know more about Aries. Like, what do you send them? And, yes. you know, or what do you think is most helpful? Um, and then we could come up with a third, but yeah, just like a very short questionnaire that we can put out to the community that would actually like help us gather, I think, some yeah. intelligence. It's yeah. Cause I mean, I think that you did an incredible job on this, this, this document. Um, but I'd love to just you know, crystallize, distill it very, you know, into like, what are the action items that we're actually asking for information? Oh, very much so. And I try, like I said to you, like outside of me, I was trying to just think, can we get to a description that's close enough and we can refine it? But yep. it turns out there's still fundamental questions about the right angle to take. Yeah. Was... That, mm -hmm. That's, that's like, is it, I personally, I don't think the, it's incredibly flexible 
is the winning answer. <laughs> right. I think, it's about, I think it's about, there are some things it does exceptionally well. That may, and I get a sense more and more that the privacy aspects, the privacy angle is a really solid story, for example, that mm -hmm. other solutions may not have addressed. So yeah. that's, the, I think there's something to be said for, it's not just everything to everyone. Mm -hmm. It is flexible and it's really good at A, B, C. And those could be solution-based. If you need to develop a wallet or agent today, solution this, or it's you know VCs for this or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. maybe that's it. It's a it's a it's a complete kit ready mm -hmm. to go. So this is what I'm playing with, like how. And that's what just came back to your your highlighting in my document. I tried description, but there's, there's fundamental questions higher up which are going to influence that. So we, I haven't iterated this yet because it might change dramatically mm -hmm. based on, especially people that have any knowledge of speaking to potential implementers. Right. You just be in the room and they say, ah, oh, no, because of this, we're not going to go with it. Yeah. That gold. And mm -hmm. we need to know those what, what's happening in the in the at the points of decision or the points of exploration. Mm -hmm. And you know there are there are these sort of open source politics at play as well. Like there's organizations that give a lot of contributions because it's this aspect that they're really into, and then there's another organization who's really involved because it's this aspect that they're really into. And I hope that we can find a way to to do right by everyone. And that's why I wonder if, you know, when we're coming up with like a list of items that we want to have them like choice rank their <laughs> whatever open ballot, whatever it's called, but like, you know, put, put them in order. Let's not put flexible in there. Let's not put, um, you know, maybe not even complete. Like I, you know, let's take some of these sort of like meh words that are like, yeah. You know what I mean? That are are yeah. not super descriptive. They're they're helpful, like in you know, as a descriptor for something else. They're not but powerful. Yeah, they're not. You know, they're not. Let's put blockchain in there. Some people hate it. Some people love it. Let's who, put who who picks anything goes. Oh, you know why I picked that? It's flexible. I was looking. I was uh, all day long. I was trying to find a solution about you know my chicken farming, uh, you know, software or whatever. And it was like, oh, but I, I was flexible. That's my flexible yeah. software. No, flex, flexible is the, is, is the also, and also it happens to be flexible. Yeah, exactly. And that's, so it's not really a, a super good, you know, descriptor. Oh. So let's no, put, it's like, you know, I think coming up with like a list of kind of the more spicy terms that people have opinions about. And then, you know, on a scale of even like, scale of one to three, yes, no, or maybe like, and then they can go through and click like the ones I love, the ones I hate, the ones I don't really care about. And then we can, you know, have some data to help inform what the description of the Aries project will be based on the contributions and feedback from the community. Yeah. Yeah. We can even have like a, I'm almost thinking that could be like a, a table. You could say, is this good for developers, execs, both or neither or something? I don't know. For each of those, because it's, it's, it's caveated a bit based on the discussion we've had about well, who understands the word protocol is understood by this audience. That's a, we can we can circumvent that. I think the ranking of the selling points separate from the wording might be an interesting question of our three. Uh -huh. So the, the words we use, but it's also like which of these selling points of our areas is the strongest in the current. I think it should be caveat within the current market in the yeah. current situation. Um, or for your market, like get them to yeah, okay, own it. Yeah, you know? I like that. I like that a lot. For it's your market, outside what they know. Yeah, brilliant. Because there was somebody on the call that said, like, you know, nobody understands Aries. Nobody cares about an agent. But when I say wallet, they're like, yep. And then other people are like, no, nobody yeah. cares about wallets. We're talking about credential exchange, and that's more, you know, whatever. Yeah. So in your market, you know, which of these? So maybe that's that's up here. Oops, can't do slide. Um, well, 
Um, okay. Yeah, I love this point. They can speak to their own situation. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, they could submit any blogs, demos, or links, like useful. Yeah, and videos as well. As to, yeah, blog links, videos, et cetera. Yeah. Papers, <laughs> whatever. All of it. Papers, courses. Do we want to ask, open question, do we want to ask starting points or just in general for Aries? What do you mean? Do you want to say when people want to get to know Aries and they're starting off, use these? Or do we want to ask, want to ask them for useful, those things in general do with Aries? Even though maybe they're oh. quite low level in techie, but they're useful further in. Yeah, because they could be offering these as like, oh, these are, this is a demo I, seen, I send to my customers about my product versus like when we have new developers that come on board, I send to that, you know, I, we send them here. Yeah, and a bit about the context of those those materials. Is it for something, yeah, to explain what it is versus newly on board versus, yeah. Okay, so what if we did, okay, so then we do like two sections, right? So we do uh, new to Aries, we do... Um, maybe like for business development yeah there's new areas like what do they sell what do they show publicly to help drive the value of like what they're of of their yeah. work and contributions can, can so, to the words of those. someone's got the two concepts so there's something about i want to get in my teeth into this where i start versus mm -hmm. what are the key selling points and how do i understand what this is mm -hmm. what this is versus where do i start those are different stages of the sales mm -hmm. process once i'm once it's still discovery and decision making the other one is like you know onboarding mm -hmm. decision making and then this is more onboarding um deployment like growth kind of And so we'd have like kind of two sections and then they can like fill in, you know, what it is. Um, but yeah, I think this would be a good start <clears throat> to, to put together in like, you know, I don't know, like a Google form or something like that. Yeah. And, um, you know, spread it far and wide. We could even do a blog um, on the Hyperledger uh, in their blog. And just get, it helps give visibility because then they'll promote it on their socials and stuff. But like, if you're in the Aries community, we'd love to hear from you. Like, you know, fill out our, we're doing a community yeah. survey kind of thing. So we could do a campaign around just visibility of the survey. Yeah. Um, it's only got three questions. They're in 17 parts, but it's only got three questions. <laughs> it's so easy. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think maybe working on that would be good. And then <clears throat> let's see here. Well, I've got the the bandwidth. I can take that as an action, Helen. Unless you, I don't mind either way. But yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, put start, yeah, put that together. Um, and then yeah. we could. There's a call tomorrow, but if we kind of tell people what what's happening and just let them know we had our first meeting, and you can see the recording and you know, look at the notes and yeah. all that kind of stuff. And then also we're putting together a questionnaire, a community questionnaire to help inform our, our work. Um, and so that'll be available like at the next call or something like that. Yeah, we can promote the next call as well. It's another place you can do it. Really yeah. Um, is there anything else we'd want to like, just get feedback on in terms of like pain points? I think we kind of know the pain points. Um, I, think it's, I think it's tied into one well, a couple of thoughts. Do we have a free text? like free text op option at the bottom of the questionnaire, what are other things that we could improve okay. for how we talk about Aries? Just leave it really open mm -hmm. and see where they go with it. Because not, we're not doing thousands of responses. We're going to get, oh, well, we're going to get like... Six. I would be yeah. great with six. Six would be yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So go at her. Use your free text. Just put your thoughts out there. Yeah. And the only other thought is I had is on that top list we have there, like I said, literally the, the choice of words versus what best communicate, what is what are the strengths of Aries? What are the, what's the ranking of the strengths of Aries? Mm -hmm. 
And are, they, are those two separate questions? Because one is, don't use the word SSI because it triggers this. Mm -hmm. But the concept of identity is really important. Mm -hmm. So I think we, if we're gonna, we, could, we could almost, if we got to choose the words or we can expand, we have one question. And I suggest rather than worry about the words, we can just get into the concepts of like, rank these benefits of Aries from highest to lowest. Like it's flexible, it's privacy preserving, it allows you to use multiple frameworks. Um, it's all at open standards and open code. I don't know, I'm just randomly saying here. Yeah, no, we, totally. you and I can iterate this and we come to actually looking at a draft of the question as well and see how it reads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, for sure. We can totally play with that. But something like talking about it externally, what's most helpful, and then what you see as a developer, what's most helpful. Because <laughs> those right. might not always be the same. It's like there's the public messaging of it and calling it a wallet and calling it, you know, yeah. privacy. It's really helpful to customers. But internally, I love talking about the open sourceness or talking about credentials or whatever. Um, we have found that even the word, like at, at my company, like even talking, saying the word credential to somebody who has knows zero about like a business decision maker or a government that knows zero about Aries or op opens, you know, SSI, anything they were like, Oh, like a credential, like my, so you, you would issue me like a driver's license. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't like, we don't, we're not an issuer. We're just enabling the ability to, you know, communicate data in verifiable ways. And they're like, Oh, so it's not a credential. Like they don't have, you know, it's a hard kind of concept to talk about. Even open source is hard. I remember this from coming into this in 2020. And even the words issuer, verifier, holder, they were very strange conceptual words. Yeah. There's a lot of jargon. Now, wow. people in the, in the space of implementing solutions, even though they're coming fresh to areas, they'll probably get that. But you go up to a higher level again, you will not see those kind of words. Like you won't see verifiable credentials past a certain point as well. And uh -huh. even the word credential, and it's, it's fascinating because it conceptualizes things that most people are used to, but they haven't labeled. Mm -hmm. So most people yeah. would say that cards go in your wallet because that is the primary thing, but also receipts go in there and other things, but it's okay because cards are what normally fits. So let's easily say the word cards, but when they can be anything, we haven't got a word to describe that concept. Yeah, that like- Using coin every day, you don't think about like credential in your wallet, most people don't. Mm -hmm. So we have, we're always tripping over the definition. We came back to creden digital credentials are the digital versions of physical ones, like your A, B, and C, so they can associate with it. But it's not easy. So to that point, yes, let's yeah. look at the words we use and what resonates and how I love the idea of having it separate for business audiences and developers. Mm -hmm. Like two, maybe two separate lists, or I don't know. Very curious. And then like- We could even filter that. We could even say, we can give them different choices. That's so what I would- Some words that they're not going to, so they don't know like they've got the same list. They've got to force them into two audiences, but say for this audience, these are the kind of things we're thinking. What do you think? And then for developers, the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, and we can mod. I just copy and paste them, but absolutely, I think that makes a lot of sense to to move them around, like a non creds internal, right? Like how sexy is it to talk about a non creds? Like if you're uh -huh. A non creds is one of the most important things that blah blah blah, like whatever, but you're never going to say a non creds to a you know business decision maker, like in a yeah. pitch or something. Um, so yeah, totally. I mean, play with these play with these words for sure. And and um, when you're you know doing your draft, feel free to add things and move things around and take things out that don't make sense for for either or. Um, but yeah, either like a rank choice system or like a one to three click, 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 you know, on, on what, what words that they think are, are more valuable or less valuable or neutral. Mm -hmm. um, some, something like that I think would be, would be great. Some people get really hung up on ranking things because they're like, no, nah, these are both important. How am I going to do? So, <laughs> maybe, you know, like, yeah. if we can just start, okay. yeah, getting a little bit of data from that and then, um, yeah, having them submit you know, two sections, submit links, new to Aries and business, and then an open text field. I think that'd be a great questionnaire for the community. Let me see if I can get us a draw form this week so you can have a look at it and we could say something yeah. about it next Wednesday. Yeah, that would be great. That would be ideal, wouldn't it? Yeah. And then looking at 
cleaning up, focusing on the the website, uh, and then the yeah the GitHub, and then the wiki um, would be good. And those will filter down because those are like flavors mm -hmm. of the core messages, aren't they? Yeah. Um, the one question I nobody's here obviously to answer it, but who the compet like wh who or what are the competitors? Because mm. a non creds aren't W three C compliant, is that right? They're a separate credential format. Okay. But Aries supports both. Because Aries for, for supports. Oh, what's the word? I can't even think of it anymore. I wish somebody was here. But anyways, yeah. So. Like it's not that like a W3C credential is a competitor because Aries does a, goes a little bit further than the W3 standard as it stands is what I understand. It could be wrong. Yeah, but my thing, my thing is yes, is that it's there is solid support for W3C credentials. Mm -hmm. You're not. It is not requirement to use non creds, and that's one of the misconceptions that gets highlighted. Yeah. You, know, you have to use non -crits. No, you don't. You can use W3C credentials. There are some other you can use things as well. Yeah. But those things, I think, when you start making some of the trade offs, I think you start losing some of what makes Aries Aries. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like to tease out from hearing back from the community. Yeah. I don't know that, but I suspect that. Like a lot of the, if you don't use DidCon, then you can't do any of this communication stuff ongoing. And you can't use the channel for rev revoking credentials. And some of the RFCs don't apply. I'm guessing there's a whole bunch of knock-on effects of not doing that. You probably would want to use that. So mm -hmm. rather than say you could do it without it, which I think is technically possible, mm -hmm. what is that we should, um, what's the hill we want to die on with these things? Like saying it does this. Yeah. If you don't want to do it, don't use it. But we right. think it's really important enough to say, well, you could technically not use it. We really think you should. And that should be part of our core messaging for what makes Aries Aries. Yeah, I, I think that's an important distinction to make. Uh, that ties back to that. That do three things great thing I was telling you. Was that thing I was thinking about earlier, wasn't I? Mm -hmm. Was I thinking you about that? Or was thinking somebody else about that? I'm sorry. Doing say three, it again. And doing three things great. The um, the guy who started Slack, mm -hmm. but a really good blog post about you have like a whole bunch of things that your product can do. But if you pick three things and say that you do them incredibly well, mm -hmm. and undeniably obvious, you know, elevator pitch style, wow, well, mm -hmm. then you can almost hang your hat on those. Yes, the other things are good, but you don't want to talk about everything. I think that's where we're in the trap right now. It does so many things and it's so technically capable. Mm -hmm. That's where the perception of complexity comes up. That's where I think the lack of focus comes in. And whilst mm -hmm. it could be flexible in ways A through Z, Mm -hmm. But A and B, but these other ones, they're really cool. And that's what makes Aries Aries. I mean, my first uh iPod held a hundred songs and it was amazing. What I didn't realize is that this device could hold data because they're not, they weren't they weren't coming out to the market saying this is a data holding device. Cause like who the who wants a date? I don't know. That doesn't mean anything to me. Like my mom isn't gonna buy a dating. But when it's like, oh, you can put you can put songs on this and oh we added a cell phone, we added a camera. And now you can take that data and you can you know like with each sort of additional feature, it it they focused on the functionality and like what it actually enabled in people's lives. Yeah. And I think yeah, they've that they've done a really good job of that when yeah. they know there's exceptions. They know what Apple Watch is really going to be great for. It's going to be fitness. But yeah. generally, they read on the applications. And I think that's something we should be doing here. Mm -hmm. It's quite possible that area should be described at a high level in the first sentences you read in terms of a use case that applies to 80% of people reading it. Yeah. Like we maybe about wallets. Maybe we may, maybe wallet is mentioned in the first sentence for all we know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's like, yeah, this is you make you make a digital wallet that can communicate and talk to other digital wallets. It's like, ooh, yes. sexy. And then like you kind of, you know, figure out what that actually means. Yeah. And somebody, wow, that doesn't work for our enterprise wallets. So, yeah, it's okay. There's, that's an agent as well. Yep. But primarily, as people are thinking conceptually, they're in charge of a wallet to hold verified credentials and do A, B, and C. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does that and it's ready to go for all these great reasons. So that's what I'm thinking the use case may be part of. Mm -hmm. not just how it's applied as a secondary thing but it might be right up front in how we describe what Aries is right now 
I think we should, in future topics, we should talk about use cases and then we should go through um, the repos and understand them, have somebody come and like, tell us like, go through each of them and give us like a gist of each thing. Because also I think that that list, wherever it is, this list, like yep. if, <laughs> as, if Ascar does something different than Bifold, Though we should have a, a menu, a table of contents for Aries that describes like, okay, well, this is bifold and the, where is it? The other thing anyway, or like framework go is the same thing. Like here's groupings of repos that, that are, that are helpful with one another and why they're helpful. Like what's the use case of, well, this is good for this instance. And this thing is this other thing you make wallets with. And this other thing you do, you can test your Aries agent against the mobile test harness. So you can do that over here. And like, I, if we understood that the, the bits and parts, this is more towards, I think the developer onboarding process. Yeah. Um, but having a, a better kind of, yeah, table of content, so to speak for the different components and parts and, and use, use cases of Aries. I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> You make a okay. Um, is BDS plus a competitor? No, it's a format to do with the credential. Yeah, but it. So, oh gosh, cryptography level. I stuff. know. Yeah, I I wasn't Signature, sure. It's the signatures for signing the credentials. Yeah. Versus. What was it on the ring things before? Yes, it's that level. It's right down. Okay. So yeah, having somebody to come to talk about competitors, I think is helpful because we can see what other people are comparing Aries to and like where we, yeah. where the wheels fall off, you know, or where, how people make the decision to go with Aries and what they really like about it. Um, I think that- I think so. We yeah. can put that out there. I know a couple of people are off the hand on both those things. One for competitors and one to explain the repos. I've got a couple of names in mind. Yeah. But we, can, we can put it out to say, hey, if you, if you want to talk about this next time, we can give more specifics. Please come to this next working group meeting. If mm -hmm. you, A, know this, B, know this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, a little bit. Steve, yeah, the, the current non-brothers, I think either of them would help. Um <laughs> I say the current yeah. brothers and they're like, we're not brothers. You're perpetuating. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, but it's excellent. Um, it the current brothers would be brilliant on that side. And yeah. then for the repo, someone like, um, like Stephen Curran knows the stuff back to front and all the flavors. He'll know every single repo and exactly its relevance. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of talked about target audience. Talked about measuring consent. Uh, yeah. And oh, then also, um, yeah. Subasis mm -hmm. from Northern, Northern Block is mm -hmm. using every description. He might be a good person to approach. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, wow. I think we got through a lot. <laughs> yeah, we did. That's excellent. Okay. That's going forward. And the question now, which I think is key to shaping up a core. I, I've, I was trying to explain this before in the, in the DICOM. There's like a description which hits the middle, uh -huh. which is the principle of anyone. And then we expand up to an executive one and maybe dive deeper into the tech. But there's like a middle audience, always like, like a, a, a developer team lead kind of level where you talk high enough business night, but you kind of drop in the technical things to get a sense of how to position it. Mm -hmm. And that's to use that questionnaire results to get to that and mm -hmm. then stretch it and then apply it into those touch points. Yeah, for sure. That makes yeah perfect sense, and I guess the the one the one thing. Thank you for being a scribe, by the way. I am atrocious at writing and participating in meetings, so Ooh, I really yeah, I end up like yeah, no, I this I I, I thank you, but uh, yeah, I like it when other people do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, I was gonna say like the question about w what does Aries what. What does Aries solve for? What is it? What is the problem that the market is looking for? That's like Aries. That's that's the solution. And I know for what we talk a lot about, and, and my company is two companies that are trying to communicate to one another, 
that a direct integration has an atrocious roadmap that's going to take forever. It's going to take years before they can actually share data. It's a government and a private company. It's a private healthcare company and a private something else. It's like they they want to share it with multiple vendors. They want, there's information, some information, whatever that is. It's um, access information. It's um, you know health information, whatever. It, you know there's some type of information that needs to be shared with multiple parties. And they need to find a way to do it without, to share it without super complex, like developer roadmaps that will take right. forever and that will never actually be accomplished. Like that's what we sort of, that's our sweet spot at, at my company. But I want to know, like, what is it that other people see as the problem that Aries solves for? What is the hammer and the nail? You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's a great idea to put that in. Um, yeah, that could form the basis of how you even write that first sentence. Uh -huh. What are the people facing right now? What yeah. question they can with? Like, what is the, maybe not selling points, like, not even remove target jargon, but like, um, what does Aries solve for? <laughs> what pain? Yeah, this is so valuable. It's um a leave <laughs> leave no, what is yeah maybe a-l-i-e-v -E. aries what pain point okay we'll just leave it like that yeah. but yeah what is aries solve for what is x you know what i mean and even one further back like what what what, like, what are they facing right now what we have, is to find, we have to find yes yeah, so it's kind of coupled um, but what people are showing up, boy, and we need a solution for this in six months or yeah. we think it does this. I mean, we've also found companies that are like, my boss said that I need to explore enterprise blockchain and like, I don't know what this, what, what this technology is good for. I want to make sure that my team understands the power of it. So I'm here to learn. Yeah. I don't really have a use case. Yeah. You know, but I know that my boss is like, bring me the blockchain, you know. That's that middle target segment I was talking about with the core description that hits that bang mm -hmm. on. Yeah, that's great. And then maybe that's like for the risk benefits kind of internal developers. Why are they here? <laughs> yeah. Like what, what about Aries is special to them? Why are they here? Yeah, and so maybe this one is down here. And then you could like rank them or, you know, scale one to three or something like that. Yeah. Um, ooh, I like that. Maybe call it five questions rather than three. <laughs> It'll be disingenuous when they're like, they start it and you're like, you're 17 minutes from yeah. finishing. <laughs> we, make, we make the first four pages like really short. So they get to 80%. And on the fifth page, we hit them and they're already invested. So we got them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, and then, yeah, and then if they don't participate, then, you know, all we can do is offer to the community to participate and share their voice. And if they don't, then we just keep moving. <laughs> yeah, like today is fantastic. We've got a whole bunch of stuff out that we probably just need to talk through. And now we can bring specific things to the people who've got the knowledge. That's exactly. great. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, well, I'm going to stop. Please. All right. Um, and I'll stop recording because I think we're good. Oh, I never had, we were never recording. Cause I'm, I can't, oh, 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 it's automatically recording. Oh, yeah. so it'll stop when we end the call. Okay. Well, um, thank you, Alex, for your uh, oh, participation you. today. Yeah, um, but you have a number of great ways of thinking about it. And like with those, I remember those DidCon questions. Like, okay, this is great. A compliment to Ibrick. I'm not so good at that framing stuff in some parts, but given the strands, I like picking them together to, to make something from them to create the actual content mm -hmm. so I really appreciate what you've done with this and what you're bringing to it yeah it's great oh I appreciate that yeah I I sometimes get uh, in the weeds pretty quick with things and so having somebody that's like you know I think we complement each other great so this has been yeah great. that's why I got the sense of yeah it's perfect yeah um cool cool okay well I'll see you tomorrow in the Aries working group meeting and you want to leave do you want to leave like a just a one minute update on that tomorrow 
Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. I'll kind of drop the the link to, or yeah, the link to the notes in the chat for everyone just to like scroll through. Um yeah. and we'll go from there. Brilliant. And I'll get the draft of that questionnaire. Should be this week. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.